The Missouri Tigers just suffered an embarrassing loss, and I have three years to win them a national championship or I fail. Let's begin. All right, so Missouri, the number 10 team in the country, 85 overall, 85 defense and offense, SEC team, three-star system, prestige, pistol off at the 425 defense. Let's get into it. We have three years from the national championship. That's it. We're going to take over for Elijah Drinkwitz. See you later, Eric Mason, recruiter. We know how this goes. This is super easy. All right, so head coach Kansas is better. I mean, that's just his name, man. I don't know what you want me to say. Um, obviously, the Missouri offense, 425 defense, Missouri alma mater, North Texas pipeline. We're going to be black because I'm black. And uh, yeah. So obviously the last decade, you can see, haven't done much of anything except last year, 11-2. and two. Um, We have a two-year contract. Our goal is to win 10 games. Wrong. Our goal in the next three years is to win a national championship. That's our only goal. Yeah, this feels so wrong. Ew. Got five coach points going all toward recruiting. We know how this goes. All right, so let's take a look at the roster. Obviously, the crown jewel of this entire team is Luther Burden. He's only a junior. There is a chance he comes back. I'm not anticipating him coming back, so we're going to have to look. Hopefully, someone can develop if we don't win it this year. Um... We're obviously also going to lose Theo Weez and Mookie Cooper. So unless Luther Burden comes back, our receiver room is going to be very young and very untested. Next up, let's take a look at our recruiting board. We're looking to build off the success we had last year. We're going to go after the number one player in the country in Tony Burr. Quarterback Hugh Humphreys, defensive tackle Demetrius Ash, and Mitch President, right tackles Logan Sharp and Morgan Malvo. Left tackle Trevor Stevens, defensive tackle Chad Caps, right end Max Higgins, free safety Tyrone Dobbs, an athlete, Kelvin Ramsey. We're going to try to get, if we can get all 10 of those guys, we're going to be in a great spot. All right, so next up, let's take a look at the schedule. This is a game against Murray State. Buffalo, Boston College, Vanderbilt. We have our first bye. Then we go to number 24, Texas A&M. That's going to be a tough game. We go to UMass for our final non-conference game. And then the SEC schedule. Auburn, go to number six, Alabama. Our second bye. Host number 14, Oklahoma. And then at South Carolina, at Mississippi State, at home against Arkansas. So, it's not a terrible schedule. There's The middle of it is going to be tough, but if we can navigate that, we're going to be in a good spot. We're taking on an FCS school in week one. If we have a problem with them, it's going to take 10 years if we don't beat them. We take down Murray State. Championship contender was up to an A+. Plus. Brand explosion was up to a B+. Plus. We moved to the number nine team in the country. We get 20 coach points. Going to, again, put this all toward recruiting. This is going to be huge. All right, next up, we're taking on Buffalo, another team. We shouldn't have any problem with the Bills. And we fall to Buffalo. Championship contender falls to an A-. minus. We fall to one and one. Whoa, 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 whoa. We got to take a look at this game. So we beat, obviously, FCS Midwest. Let's take a look at this game. Look at the burden. Or excuse me. Mookie Cooper, 161 yards and a touchdown. The Wees, 94 yards and two touchdowns. Wow, we played great football there. Against Buffalo. Holy shit. The Bulls came in and shocked us. Mecky Miller, 193 yards. Brett Northfleet, 72 yards and a touchdown. The Wees, 53 yards. Luther Burden, 33 yards and a touchdown. Damn, okay. So we actually might not be as good as we think we are. That's not good. We're going to start scheduling visits against our rivals. This game against Oklahoma is going to be a huge game. We're going to put Tony Burr there. And we're going to switch this thing to a hard sell. I think his final motivation is championship potential. We're going to try that. We're also going to add five-star wide receiver Trey Donahue to our board. We took off a quarterback because we got locked out already in week two. So we're going to add him. He's a five-star gem. He would be a perfect Luther Burton replacement. We're second on Boston College. Again, they're, they look to be a good team, but we're supposed to try to win a national championship. We're a top 10 team coming into the season. We got to be able to take care of business. And we lose to Boston College. So out of the top 25, one and two are a B plus championship contender. Whoa. We get 10 more coach points. Going to put this all toward recruiting, but let's take a look at this game. Lose by three. That's a tough loss. Just couldn't hold on in the fourth quarter. Damn. Five touchdowns. 97 yards, two touchdowns to Theo Weiss, 91 yards and two touchdowns to Luther Burden, 51 yards and a touchdown to Mackie Miller. Damn, we just couldn't stop them on defense. Holy shit. And it's not going to get any easier. I mean, we got to go to Kyle Field, Alabama, we host Oklahoma. This is not good, folks. We're going into our first bye week five. We're 2-2, two and 1-0 two, in on the SEC. We have some big injuries, Nate Noel and Mookie Cooper, both out for an extended period of time. Let's take a look at the depth chart and let's see who's going to be playing in place of Mookie Cooper and Nate Noel. At running back, obviously, again, Nate Noel's out, but we do have another senior in Marcus Carroll. We have a sophomore in Tavares Jones. Our running back in Jamal Roberts. Outside of that, we are a little thin because I am redshirting both Kawan Lacey and Austin Dendy. We do have Kendall Tobias Mobley, the fullback, but at fullback, we're thin because he's the only one there. We have Marcus Carroll playing some fullback. We have Jordan Harris, a tight end, playing some fullback. Got a lot of fullbacks. Full excuse me, we got a lot of tight ends in Brad Norfleet, Tyler Stevens, and Jordan Harris, but we really want to get, excuse me, we want to get back Noel at receiver. You know, we're going to be fine. Obviously, Luther Burden, Theo Weese. We do have Mekki Miller and Marquise Johnson, Jamarian Wayne, sophomore Joshua Manning. So we're going to be fine here, but 
running back, we really bring, want to bring Noel back. We've got 10 more coach points. Going to put this all into a recruiting. We're making pretty good progress in the recruiting department already. So we'd love to see that. Even though we don't play a game, coming out of the bye, our championship contender moves back up to an A-. minus. That is awesome. All right, coming out of the bye, we're going to take on number 16, Texas A&M. It's not going to be an easy game, um, but if we want to win a national championship this season, we absolutely have to win this one. We're already 2-2. Two two. If we suffer any more losses, we're going to be in trouble. I'm not going to hop in every game, but this is when I absolutely feel like I have to win. We took an early lead, and here we have the Aggies on third and 12. If we can get a stop here, we have a chance to take a two-possession lead. We got to get a stop here. Oh, is it a screen? Oh, my God, it is. I couldn't get out there. What was that play call? That was a great play call. Jalen Henderson is in. Is Connor Weedman hurt? Huh. We are up. Here we go. It's third down again. We got to get a stop. I'm on Hicks. I guess Weedman is hurt, at least for now. I'm going to sit on this underneath. Yep, I'm sitting on the underneath. There we go. We're holding the three. We'll take it. All right. So they cut into our lead, but if we can get some more points on the board, we're going to be fine. Here we go. Going to run this play to the wine side of the field. Hit Luther. That was an incredible break. I didn't see Braylon Rogers at all. Holy shit. I'm a little rusty, as you can tell, but damn, I needed to make that play there. I'm on Jacobs. Here we go. Where are they? Oh, there we go. Great defense. Chris McClellan, his first sack of the day. Again, if we can get a stop here on third down, that'd be huge. They're at midfield. They're not in field range. I'm on flag. This would Force them to punt the ball. Anything across the middle. Oh my god, what a ball by Jalen Henderson. Damn. Gonna bring a big gonna bring a big blitz here. Uh I think they're gonna run this ball, but I'm gonna sit on flag. I'm gonna come down and manually cover this. Great job. Holy shit. Nice tackle by our D tackle. I'm gonna sit on Burks Jr. I think this is gonna be a run too. I'm gonna come down. Yes. Oh, it's a play action. Great defense. Great defense. I got back and I'm glad that I got back. Gonna simulate pressure here. I'm gonna sit on flag and I'm gonna fly back. Yep. Great job. Great! Oh my god, great job, defense. There we go, we're gonna hold them to another field goal. I don't think I'm gonna block this. I've been pretty good at blocking them lately, but it's tougher with this update because you can't like see the heads up glitch, like the timer where the guys in the middle block fly up. They're bringing a big blitz here, and they shouldn't because Luther Burden's gonna be wide open. Got him. Luther Burden, go get it. Luther Burden, why are you pressing Luther Burden at the line of scrimmage? What are you doing? Here we go, just past midfield, third and four. If we can get a stop here, that would be huge. We'd get a chance to go up two possessions in the first half. Oh my God, great defense. Holy shit, fourth and four. We're gonna get the ball back. I have all three timeouts as well. They're in cover one. So how? On the break. Dude, I don't have any time. This A&M defensive line is in my face immediately. They're in cover four. Okay, so they're gonna drop back. Dude, God, I gotta hit my, I gotta hit my check down there. No, 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 no. No. No, dude, please, just, just audible the slants. Oh my God, this isn't this hard. I'm going for this, bro. Get the fuck out of here. No, I'm not going for this. Dude, our punter sucks. Holy shit. Blasted his ass though. Nice job, defense. Our defense has kept us in this game. It's just crazy that we're getting smoked on offense right now. I'm on Jacobs, gonna fly to the right. Nothing here. Don't hit your cross. Yes, nice job, defense. Man, they're gonna have another field goal. That's fine. Defense has come alive. Third and five here. They're in cover four. Get out of there, Brady Cook, get out! Fourth and I'm going for this fucking, no. Dude, can I flip this run to the short side? Dude, what the fuck was that? I'm so sick of this, bro. God, I'm bringing a fucking massive blitz. Oh my God, what is this? Dude, thank you. Oh my goodness. Nice undercut number four. Nice job, defense. Damn, our defense is so good. Dude, our offense can't do anything. Defense, we need you to hold another field goal, man. Golly. Great job, defense. Oh my God, our defense is a bunch of fucking animals. Kristen Williams, nice fucking job. I'm on Jacobs here. Again, I think this is another, yeah, it is. Dude, there's like, how does he even get past the first line of defense, bro? Gonna bring a blitz, here we go. Can we get another stop and hold him to three? I'm on flag. I don't know if this is four down territory for them. I don't know if it is. Let's go. Tristan Newsome, his fifth tackle of the day. We've held them to four field goals on offense. Oh my God, our defense has been nothing short of spectacular tonight. Didn't get it. Damn, okay. 14 to 12. So we just got to get, if we can score, the game is over. God damn, bro. It hasn't given me the chance to play offense at all. And I'm not trying to cheat. I'm sitting on Carnell. I'm bringing a blitz. Here we go. Nothing over the top. That's fine. Keep him in bounce too. Going to switch the coverage up. Go back to his zone defense. I'm going to sit on Jacobs. Anything to the right is mine. I'm going to have to run. I shouldn't have cut sticked. Damn. Did I, that's, did I say 16 tackles? Holy shit. Flag. He has been everywhere. I'm sitting on flag. Great job. Oh my God. Great job coming back on that ball. Going to keep switching up the coverages here. I'm going to go switch on to Johnson as well. Anything by that left hash is mine. Dude, that is such a, th a seam threader, bro. What am I supposed to do there? Oh, I'm on Charleston. This is probably a run based on the way this is formed up. 
This is definitely a run. I'm flying down. Great job, defense. Bring in a blitz here. I'm going to sit on Carnell over the top. Here we go. You got to have that. Oh, my God. I'm bringing a big blitz here. I'm going to sit on flag. Third and six. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Defense. Fourth and six. Nice job. They're going to hit a field goal. They're going to hit their fifth field goal. I just need to go down and get any points to win the game. Damn. I, I literally saw that other guy go off the edge, and I thought he was going to run into him, and I was about to destroy my Xbox. Here we go. Here we go. We just need a field goal to win this game. That's got to be PI or something, bro. Defense. Thank God, bro. Are you like, I'm fucking hell. Go get it, Brad Norfleet. Oh my God. One play, one touchdown. What a strike. And we went for fucking two. Are you fucking kidding me? We just can't allow a touchdown. Can't allow a touchdown. I'm on Jacobs. Anything across the middle is mine. Here we go. Get there. Great job, defense. I'm on Charleston. I'm coming down covering this zone right here. Oh, sh oh it's a screen. There we go. Keep him bounced too. Gonna sit on the spy here. I'm gonna bring pressure. I'm on flag. Here we go. We don't want shit. Great defense. Keep him in front of you. That's fine. Gonna bring pressure. Gonna bring pressure again. Here we go. See what the routes are. They need a touchdown. A field goal doesn't help them. Oh my god, he overthrew him. Holy shit, he did have him crispied. All right, we're gonna switch back into his zone. I don't really want to get cooked over the top. I can't imagine they're able to cook his zone like that. So anything across the oh, bringing pressure. Oh my god, I had it. I read it like a book. I'm on Johnson. Holy shit, I can't believe I almost got that. Give me that! What? Dude, this is... I'm getting I'm getting screwed right now. I'm on Carnell. There's a lot of game left. I don't even know what that was, but great job keeping him in front of you. Gonna switch on to Jacob's. Gonna bring some pressure here. Oh, it's a spike. Gonna bring pressure here. I'm gonna sit on Jacob's. Gonna bring pressure. Don't want him to get out of the pocket. Oh my god, he scored. Okay, okay, okay. Doesn't even matter. Doesn't even matter. Oh my god, they got a... F they went for two and got it. Holy shit, okay. So, they're in cover four. This is fake press. Hit my angle route. Timeout. A field goal ties the game. Don't need to don't need to take shots. Not yet, at least. I have two timeouts still. It looks like they're Dude, what the fuck? That's PI! That's PI! He fucking ran into him! That's so criminal, bro. That's so fucking criminal. And it's gonna be a three-man rush that I'm not gonna be able to. What a ball by Brady Cook! Oh my god! Doesn't matter. I don't need a touchdown. I have one timeout left. I gotta get this ball off. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That's how you play football, boys. Holy shit. And it sneaks in. Oh my god. I pinned it off the upright. Holy shit. Okay, here we go. Fresh. Dude, what the fuck was that? That was insane. That was so fucking stupid. What I just saw. I saw it happen and I tried to get out of there. Great fucking run to Tavoris Jones. Holy shit. Get there! He Luther Burden! What a fucking play! He missed the extra point. Oh, he blocked it. What the fuck just happened? Holy shit, I don't even know. Luther Burden absolutely shredded his defender on that play. Oh my goodness. Seven for 158 and two touchdowns. Holy shit, bro. Don't want to see this shit, bro. Can I see the final play of the game? Blocked. Oh my god, we blocked the extra point. Holy fuck, what a way to win that game. Oh my goodness. Got 10 more coach points. Gonna continue to put this all toward recruiting. That was a hell of a game. Damn, we like to see that. Move back into the top 25. We're the number 23 team in the country. That was a hell of a win by us. Going to UMass, it's our final non-conference game of the season. We gotta have this one. And we fall to UMass on the road. Our championship contender falls to a B plus. We gotta take a look at this game. What is happening? How are we losing some of these games? 41 to 39, bro. In overtime, we made they made a great comeback in the fourth quarter. Dude, what the fuck is happening? 101 yards and a touchdown for Theo Wees. 95 yards for Mickey Miller. 52 and a touchdown for Marquise Johnson. 18 for Marcus Carroll. A 13 yard reception for Tavares Jones. Luther Burden, one reception for eight yards. That's so bad. Brett Norfleet, an eight yard touchdown. Wow, dude, what the hell? That's why we lost. Holy shit. Damn, our defense plays so much better. At least it feels like it when I'm playing with them, but... Damn. We get our first minute of the video in right tackle Morgan Malvo, a five star. We saw how good the, the offensive line needs to be. Another tackle in left tackle Trevor Stevens. We love to see that. Defensive tackle in Mitch President. That's an electric name. Another right tackle on Logan Sharp. Wow. The first commits to the video, four five stars. We love to see that. Chad Caps commits to Tennessee. So we're going to take him off our board. All right. We're four and three currently. We're going to take on Alabama in Tuscaloosa. This is another game I think we gotta try to win if we wanna salvage this season. We're gonna go with the yellow alternates. Here we go, boys. Here we go. We're gonna do the fake jet to the outside. They're in man, excellent. Yep, I mean, I got a couple. That's all that matters. That was not a good run. And now we go to the jet, the actual jet touch pass, going to the wide side. Here we go. Give me a kick out block. Are you fucking kidding me? Who, Noel? Dude, that's just so stupid, bro. That was such a stupid fucking block by Noel. What a Fuck, oh, I wanted to light him up. Holy shit. 
Jalen Moreau, bro, get the fuck out of my face, ugly. Here we go, we gotta get a stop here on third down. Gonna bring some pressure, I'm on, damn, bro. I'm on flag. Dude, what the? I tried to switch on, I switched, I switched it to the wrong corner. Shit. Gonna bring more pressure here. Gonna switch on to Burks in the secondary. I wonder if it's, yep. Nice, dude, thank you. Holy shit, we got a gang tackle against Alabama, bro. I'm on Jacobs, I'm flying back to my left. Anything across the middle, dude, this is not gonna be easy, boys. Holy shit. Fucking Alabama, bro, I'm so sick of Alabama. I'm on Hicks. Great, dude, no way, please, please don't, just be a hold. Thank you. Do I want to accept it, though? Yeah, I do, I want to take this. I'm gonna sit on Johnson, I'm flying back. There's a run on first and... Damn, they brought up fucking first and 17. That's a ballsy run call. I'm bringing a blitz here too. I'm gonna go sit on Carnell. I'm gonna bring him down. That's another run. Holy shit, they're running. Are you fucking... Defense, man, we need to get a stop here. Come on, Johnson. We gotta get a stop here on defense. Like, what the fuck else are you covering? Oh, God damn it, this shit is fucking annoying, bro. I'm on flag. Here we go. Run the delay route. Nice job, Khalil Jacobs. They're gonna take their three. That's fine. I gotta get something going on off. Dude, fuck. I gotta look at my routes before I call play. Here we go. Yep. Hold on to it. Nice job, Mackie Miller. To the wide side of the field, I might hit Norfleet. Oh, they're bringing a big blitz. Got it. Norfleet. Get out of there, Brett Norfleet. Go. Let's go. Dude, they're just gashing us. God, dude. Can we get a fucking stop on defense? Like, great. Oh my God. Let's go. Here we go. I like Weeze out there. I also like Luther Burden. They're going to be in cover four, which means they're going to bring a... Got him. Get up field. Get up field. Get up field. Get up field. Oh my god, that was a bad ball. I got to drill that in there. Is this a real press coverage? Dude, please be roughing the passer. Oh my god, we'll take it, bro. Pass it. I'm about to say, bro, they're, they're all over my guys. Here we go. They're in press. Cross. Dude, Brady Cook, you got to be accurate. Brady Cook can't be the reason I'm not scoring. They're going to bring a big blitz here. Here we go. Dude, what the fuck? They're double teaming someone and someone just comes flying off the edge. Fuck, dude. I'm going for this, bro. No. No. What the fuck are you running that route for? Drilled it. Oh my god, we fucking drilled it. Tie game going to half. Why would you not run the sit down? God, bro. Fucking hell. I'm sitting on flag. I'm flying to my right. Yep. Get out of bounds. Thank god. No, don't go for it. You cowards. Just take your three. Oh shit, no, no, no. Dude, god damn it! That's stuck on a fucking D lineman! Fuck me, dude. Who are these safeties covering? That's fine. God, do we gotta get a stop on defense. Come on, Jacobs. Anything across this middle area I'm gonna cover just because, oh, it's a pass. Dude, oh, dude. How do you play the ball in just, dude? Our defense or our offense can't do fucking anything. Fuck. I don't wanna see this shit. Fuck, dude. I'm on flag, bro. Anything across the middle is mine. Thank you. Great job by me. I'm on flag. Anything to the right is mine. Second and goal. We gotta get a stop here. Fourth and inches, man. We just need it. Show me the fucking plate, bro. I know. Thank you. Hold on to it. Thank you. How do we go nowhere? Fourth and two. Dude, get the fuck. Dude, I know. The, I know. Him. Show me the fucking routes, bro. Thank you. Got him. Nice job, Miller. No, show me the fucking play then if there's no stadium. Hey, right. Yeah, no, that's right. That was. Oh, my Norfleet. Get on your feet, Luther Burden. Nice job. No points. We can't allow a single point. No points. Defense, we need you to please one more stay up. One more stop, defense. You guys have been great. All season. How did fuck did just grab him? I'm gonna bring a press here. I'm bringing a blitz. I just gotta get home. I am flying off the edge. Great job. We're gonna have both. We're gonna have two timeouts. I'm flying back with Burks. Here we go, Luther Burden. Give me a big punt return. I kind of ran like a fucking idiot, but we got to the 30. Here we go. They're gonna be in cover three. I didn't see anything I liked. Are they in press? This is fake. This has to be fake. Great ball. This might be real. Nope. Doesn't matter. I let it. No, you cannot. I had, I should have hit. Fuck, dude. They're, are they doubling Luther Burden? What a ball by Brady Cook. Oh my God. Dude, these balls can't be bad. That's the problem. Just give me the first. I almost don't want to score like quickly. Like I almost want to take this game to overtime because I just don't know if we can stop them from getting a field goal. I have two timeouts. I might... If they're bringing a blitz off that left side, Noel's my read immediately. I don't know what button he's why. I think I might try to milk this clock down under 30 seconds and try to get a stop and just play for overtime because I don't really know if we can stop them from getting a field goal. Our defense is not. Here we go. Got him. First of all, that ball should not have flown out like that. That was fucking ridiculous. We spurred Norfleet. Got him. Got him! I played that right. All right, they didn't score before after we scored. So I'm on flag. Third and five. We got to get a stop here. 
If we can hold him to a field goal, we have a chance. If we can hold him to a field goal, we have a chance. It's an RPO. It's an RPO. Nice job. I'm playing safe, bro. They can have this. We're not blocking this shit. We're just not. He still almost tried to fucking hit him, bro. I, I the CPU just needs to chill the fuck out. So we have the chance to get the ball here. We have a chance to score. If we get a touchdown, the game is over. Dude, we, we already, like, what the fuck is happening, bro? We already did all this. Give me the fucking ball. Thank you. We're gonna start with the ball on the ground. Here we go, Noel. Oh, no, 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 not at all. I saw it right away. I saw it right away. He was wide open. See how this goes. Great blocking. Give me five. We'll take it. All right. I want to call an audible, but it's not letting me. I want to call an audible, it's not letting me, bro. That's a touchdown. I'm. No, you gotta hold on. You gotta hold on. We tie the game. Fuck, dude. All right. They're gonna bring a blitz off that left side. They're gonna cover two. Great run. Great run, Noel. Give me 10. Give me 12. Here we go. How is that not pass interference? I don't understand. They're fucking mugging him. Bringing a blitz. Oh my god, Luther Burton caught that ball. Please, 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 please. Thank you. Third and one, they're bringing a blitz. You gotta hold on! We didn't get the two point conversion. Didn't get the two point conversion. Of course we didn't. Why wouldn't we get the two point conversion? Why would we get the two point conversion? I'm on Burks. Give me that! Game over! What a way to win! Holy shit, bro. God damn! Brady Cook, 272, four touchdowns. Oh my god. A crazy game from Cook. Holy shit. Don't show me this shit, bro. Get that shit off my fucking screen. I can't believe we won that game. 10 more coach points is all going toward recruiting. We know how this goes. Oh my God, bro. I can't believe we just won that game. That is, that was ridiculous. Khalil Jacobs, SEC Defensive Player of the Week. One interception, seven tackles. I mean, shit. That pick was huge. Let's take a look at that. Obviously, we're still not ranked, but we're making great progress. 12 tackles, a sack and an interception. Holy shit, a Geronimus game from Jacobs. We're at our final bye week. We have a couple of injuries. Joseph Charleston, he has a ruptured disc. We should be back going into the home stretch. Connor Tallison has a torn bicep. He is going to be fucked up for almost two months. He's probably done for the rest of the season, unless we make like the national championship, but I don't think it's gonna happen this year. So he's probably done for the season. Let's take a look at this. At center, we're pretty much starting Jake Heismeyer, and that's it. We don't have a backup. We can put Caden Green there in an emergency, but we're thin at the offensive line positions. Left guard, we're fine. Obviously, Caden Green, Logan Reichardt, uh, Javion Richardson, but we really can't afford another injury at center. And then free safety, thin as well. We have Trevez Johnson. Don't have a backup. Dylan Carnell, the strong safety, kind of moved over there a little bit, but we're loaded at strong safety between him, Marvin Burks, and Isaac Thompson, but we really need these guys to come back. After that loss to Oklahoma, we move to five and four. Championship contender falls to a B. It's their first SEC loss, right? So if we do take a look at the conference standings. We're not going to make the playoff as an at-large. I'll tell you that much. Um, but we're four and one. And we don't have a win over any of these teams. I don't think we play any of these teams. But we do have a win over Alabama um, and Texas A&M. So, if, you know, our only path to the playoff is beating the teams in front of us. But we play South Carolina, Arkansas, and I don't know who we play last, actually. It might... I don't know who we play that. Maybe Mississippi State. So if we can take care of business, there's an outside shot at us making the playoffs just by virtue of playing in the SEC Championship game. But after that loss, Tony Burke commits to Texas, so we're going to take him off our board. And Demetrius Ash commits to Georgia, so he's gone. Max Higgins commits to LSU, so we're going to take him off the board. And we lose to South Carolina, fall to 5-5. Five and five. Championship there falls to a C. Yeah, the season is quickly spiraling. We do have 10 more coach points. Um... But yeah, this isn't a good look. We take down South Carolina. Excuse me. We take down Mississippi State, move to six and five. James Catherine moves up to a B minus five and two. We're third in the SEC. I'm going to take a look at the standings. Uh, Arkansas is five and six. So they're fighting for bowl eligibility. But I actually think there's an outside shot at us making the conference championship. Yeah, if Georgia. Oh, they already. I don't think we can make it. We didn't play Georgia, so I don't know how it would work. Um, but if we win, we'd be six and two. Alabama wouldn't make because of us. Yeah, I don't know how this is going to work. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. And it doesn't even matter because we lose to Arkansas, fall to 6-6. Six and six. Champion contender falls to a C. Yeah, that is not a good look. So we finished year one 6-6. Six and six. I would be kind of shocked. Connor Tollison's still hurt, but our man Membo, he's also hurt now. So we're going to take a look at him and how that's going to impact us in our bowl game. Because obviously we're already dealing with some O-line injuries. We're just going to move Marcus Bryan over to right tackle. We don't have a right tackle on roster. Um, right now. Curtis Piegler and Brandon Solis, they're all left tackles. This is just not good. Obviously, Mitchell Walters, we moved him over here, but even so, Brandon Solis and Curtis Piegler, we're just, we're just beaten up. We just need guys to get healthy, and damn, this sucks, man. And with that loss, we actually lost out on a lot of recruits. Trey Donahue commits to Ole Miss, so we're going to take him off our board. Uh, Tyrone Daubs commits to Oregon, so he's gone. Kelvin Ramby commits to Ohio State, and yeah, we just lost a lot of guys, man. That sucks.
Our offense had a lot of trouble scoring the ball, moving the ball. We're actually going to get rid of Lenny Wilson. We're going to try to find a new offensive coordinator in the offseason. We're actually taking on Michigan State in the ReliQuest Bowl. This game means nothing to me. We're going to sim it. It'd be cool if we win, but don't care if we do. Ten more coach points. This is going all toward recruiting. We're actually just going to put this on the increased starting interest. I think that's actually really important going into the transfer cycle. And because of the way we end this season, Logan Sharp and Morgan Malvo decommit. That's so brutal. We still managed to bring in Mitch President and Trevor Stevens, but losing these two is such a tough blow. All right, so we got to get an offensive coordinator here. We'll start with George Sparks, the offensive coordinator for the Raging Cajuns. He runs a pistol scheme. He's a New Mexico pipeline. Okay, that's a good candidate. Aaron Watson is someone that intrigues me. He's a head coach at Kent State. He runs a veer and shoot offense. Base 4-3 doesn't matter. In the Illinois pipeline. Minnesota is interested in him to be their head coach and offensive coordinator in Illinois as their defensive coordinator. That is the guy I'm looking at right now. But the guy I'm going to offer first is Don Cassin. He's an air raid offense. He runs a 3-3-5 defense. Doesn't matter. He's the head coach at North Texas. He has a Hawaii pipeline. Listen, you and anyone in Hawaii, they got some big-ass Samoans down there. Stanford, Utah, interested in him as their offensive coordinator. Washington as their defense. This is the guy we're going to offer as our offensive coordinator. If we could bring in Don Cassin from North Texas, that would be huge. All right, so we were not able to bring in him. Let's restart the process, right? Dion Charbonnet, he is an offensive coordinator of a local high school in Missouri. He runs a pistol offense. Toledo, Ohio, and Jacksonville State are interested in him as their head coach, right? Joe Clay, we talked about him as a head coach in Louisiana. He runs an offensive pistol scheme, has a base 3-4 defense. The head, his, his pipeline is Kansas, which is close. Oklahoma State's interested in him as their head coach. But the guy that I'm going to offer again, way over here, is the head coach at Marshall, Brian Harris. He runs an air raid offense. I'm really intrigued by the air raid offense. Base 4-3 defense, don't care. But Michigan pipeline's interesting. And Ohio and Kent State are interested in him as their head coach. We're going to see if we can try to get Brian Harris to become our new offensive coordinator. And we lose the Relia Quest Bowl fall to 6-7. and seven. Don't like to see that, but it is what it is. We bring in Brian Harris from Marshall. We have our new offensive coordinator. Didn't show you guys his talent tree. He's got talent developer. All right, so we're going into year two. This is a pretty crucial year for this rebuild, right? Pro potential does go up to a C plus. Conference prestige falls to an A. Coach stability falls to a D. Coach prestige comes up to a B minus. Okay, so up and down. Here we go. This is the biggest part about Brian Harris, right? He has some motivator, has some recruiter stuff, right? Good recruiter stuff is going to help us a little bit. Same with motivator. He's got some off-season developmental stuff, especially here for injuries, which is awesome. But talent developer for the transfer portal. Running backs, receivers, tight ends, offensive line, and quarterbacks transfers are all more interested in incoming. And on top of it, lower-rated running backs progress faster and offensive linemen. This is the biggest reason we brought him in. He is a stud, and if we can win, it's going to be because of him. Players leaving. Things are going to get dicey here. Luther Burden, he's going to go in the first round of the draft. I didn't expect him to stay. He's gone. I'm going to do it just to do it. But okay, this is when things get kind of dicey. Eddie Kelly, he's a guy that's probably going to be able to help us this year, but he's already a junior. So if he does leave, it's not the worst. This is someone I don't want to lose. Trey and Greco, he's a freshman, but he's a corner. And we don't have much corner. That, yeah. Again, here as well, Jalen Brown, not basketball Jalen Brown. If we could bring him back, that'd be huge. He decides to stay. Quarterback Nicholas Delosh, he's again, only a freshman. He would be a big get. He's gone. And Elias Williams. If he could decide to say that would be awesome, he does. So we bring back Elias Williams and Jalen Brown, continuing to help our front seven. But we do lose Nicholas Deloche, Trey and Jeho, excuse me, Trey and Greco, Eddie Kelly, and Luther Burton obviously wasn't going to stay. So it's going to be definitely a different team. We're going to have to hit the transfer portal hard, but we already knew that. All right, we're going to go after a bunch of big guns in the transfer portal, right? Right guard Chris Farrell, he's a guy. He can help us right now. Right guard. Quarterback Jack Lausch from Northwestern. We don't know the quarterback is going to be because Brady Cook is now gone. Right guard Jack Walsh. He's someone from Wyoming. He would be our day one starter at right guard. He is a crown jewel in this class. If we can't get him, obviously Brandon Henderson would be good from Illinois. Um, right tackle Joshua Anderson from Eastern Michigan. And running back Bill Jackson from Tulsa. We just need guys that can come in and play. Lost a lot of guys to the transfer portal to graduation. But here are the guys we we're looking for. Frank Covey and J. Michael Sturdivant. This is the guy we need. The number six player in the country. If we can bring him in, he would be the Luther Burden replacement, and damn it, we need someone. We bring in four-star right guard Jack Walsh. This is the biggest guy on our line. He's from Palatine. He's a power right guard. He's awesome. We bring in four-star wide receiver Sal Hawker. We bring in Elik Iomanner. We bring in Seydou Traore. Those were some of the best guys on the board. We wanted them. Oh, my God. We're bringing in a massive class. All right, so we got 10 more coach points. Going to put this all toward recruiting, but instead, we're going to continue to put it towards the starting interest because that's going to be huge going into our second season. National signing day. This is huge. Let's take a look at our class. We brought in a massive class, right? The two guys that we're really going to talk about, Mitch President, Elick Iomanner from Stanford, an absolute monster receiver, and Trevor Stevens 
Brought in some big tackles, the like Isle Manor. We brought in a host of four star guys as well. We got a big class. Let's take a look at where our class is going to end up. We bring in the 22nd best class, two five stars, seven four stars, seven three stars, and four two stars. Yeah, I like our class a lot. Obviously, like I said, President, Islander, Stevens, Walsh, and Traore, some more transfers. We brought in a big class. Let's take a look at position changes. We do only have one athlete, Monty Reed. He's going to be a right end. We do need help on the defensive side of the football. We really didn't recruit that that well this season, but we're going to be loaded this year. 70 coach points. Oh, my God, bro. Our recruiting, I'm going to finish our recruiting off. This is so huge. Oh, my God. We love to see this. Yep, we're going to be able to finish recruiting completely. I don't really care about getting an elite recruiter. We're not going to really get it anyways at this point. So I'm done with recruiting. And now we're going to go over to Motivator. We're going to unlock Motivator. And we're going to we're going to start getting... We want the off-season training moves. Because if we don't win this year, that's what we want to have going into next season. Training results. Let's take a look at this. Do we have a good... Oh, my God. Yes, we do. Caden Green and Armand Membo, our offensive line, we're able to run the ball really well. And Caden Green's only a junior. There's no way he comes back for a senior season, but damn. All right, so let's take a look at the team. Again, I think we talked about the guys on top anyways. Yeah, Caden Green, Armand Membo. Those are the two best players on our team. We're going to be able to run the ball effectively. We do still have DeVoris Jones. He's a stud of a running back, so we're going to be fine being able to run the ball. Caden Green is only a junior. Um, I anticipate him leaving. I'd be shocked if he stayed for a senior season if we make it that far. But even if he doesn't, uh, Logan Reichert, he's going to be a fine left guard. We're going to be fine there. And then right tackle, Armand Membo is a stud. He's a senior. He's gone. His backup, Joshua Anderson, is also a senior. We really don't have much here. We have Seth Wilfred, a sophomore, junior in Sai Paulo Fuimono, and a freshman in Ryan Jostis, but we're probably going to look to upgrade this position as well going forward. And then at receiver, obviously we lose, lose Luther Burden, but we bring in Ike Manor from the transfer portal. We also have Mekki Miller who developed. We have Marquise Johnson. We're going to be fine at receiver this season. And even so, even if we have to go another season, Mekki Miller's gone, but Elik Eilmaner and Marcus Johnson are going to be here. Even though we had a down year, we're still going to go after a bunch of five stars, starting with right end Paul Canty, athlete Anthony Ramsauer, quarterback Nick Radigan, running back Kona Vitae, left side linebacker Brandon Tutelele, left end Brian Goodley, athletes Brian Valenzuela and Isaiah Cunningham, quarterback Caleb Ellingson, receiver Taylor Kareem, and quarterback Evan Terrell. There's obviously a bunch of other four stars on here, but those are the guys we're going to go after first. All right, so we start the season. We actually don't play a game until week two. Host number 23, Kansas. We have our Then we have our actual bye, and then we play the gauntlet, right? We host FCS East. This is Central Arkansas. We host number 20, Texas A&M. We host Louisiana. We go to Auburn for our first road game of the season. We come back and host UMass and South Carolina. We then have two more road games against Vanderbilt and Oklahoma, come back and host Mississippi State, number six, Alabama, and go to number 18, Arkansas. So we play only one, two, three, four road games this season. That's going to be huge. And I did switch the schedule. We were supposed to play Miami of Ohio, but in real life, in 2025, according to this website, Missouri's playing Central Arkansas, so I just switched them out. Everything else is the same. What I'm about to do is going to pain the hell out of me. We're going to start this season off in this game against Kansas. I haven't played a game at Farrell Field yet. Oh, I don't want to play this game. We're an 87 overall, but damn it. I want to win a national championship. I'm going to have to take down the Jayhawks. This is going to hurt. Here we go. Our first look at Farrell Field. This is huge. We didn't play a home game in year one. Just didn't get the opportunity to do so. Um, if we can get our season started off on the right track with an upset over the Jayhawks, that would be huge. Head coach Kansas is better. Is looking to make a statement in his second year. Uh, I've never played against Kansas. This is going to hurt a lot. I've never actually done this in this game. I've been doing rebuilds for like two months now. I wonder who the quarterback is. I wonder if it's Isaiah Marshall or if it's uh, Beasters. Gonna bring pressure here. It is Ben Easters. Okay. Gonna bring pressure. Going to sit on Hancock in the secondary. Here we go. Anything over the top is great job. Fourth and two. Jaron Sensenball gonna keep them out of. Oh, they went for it. All right. Never mind. Third and 12. Gotta get a stop. I'm on Beasley. Here we go. Anything. Oh, it's a screen. Oh, thank you. I, wow. Fourth and seven. I'm going to hold no field goal. That's fine. We were able to score again here. If we can bring some pressure, third and seven. If we could get a stop here, that would be huge. Oh, you got to have that. Great job. We're going to get him to punt the ball. First and 10 inside the red zone. Going to put blood on a drag, actually. I don't like. Oh my God. What was that route? Holy shit. That was easy. And we take a 14-3 lead against the Jayhawks. Inside the 50, third and four. We got to get a first down here. Inside release. Oh my God, what a ball. We take an 11-point lead after this extra point. We're moving the ball really well. And I'll be honest, boys, that game wasn't close as much as it pains me to say it. We beat them 41-17. to 17. We got a two-touchdown lead and really never looked back. Um, yeah, that one was... That one... 
that one sucks. I really did not want to play this game, but you know, I knew what I was going to have to do if I didn't win near one. So, oh, uh, I didn't want to play this game. Damn, this sucks. Sam Horn, the new quarterback, 410 passing yards, four touchdowns, huge game from Horn. We love to see that. He's, you know, looks great. That was a great throw over the shoulder to Johnson. Again, he, he, he has a nice connection with Johnson. So hopefully that can continue to develop. Hopefully we can use this to uh, kickstart our season and maybe win a national championship in year two. With that win over Kansas, I was going to move to 1-0, but our team took contender was up to a C plus. So we'd love to see that. Marquise Johnson, six receptions, 137 yards, three touchdowns. A magnificent game from Marquise. The SEC up in the fair of the week. Let's take a look at that really quick. His development is going to continue to get better with that. Yeah. And we also had three rushing yards. Yeah, great game from him. And now we're in our bye. Do we, obviously, I don't think we'd have an injury this quick. Um, could love to see that. We are at the point we can start scheduling visits. Um, we're going to start scheduling visits for games against Texas A&M. If we could get a win here, this would be huge. And we can start doing the hard sells for Anthony Ramsauer. We're going to do, what is it, grassroots? Okay, awesome. We're going to start doing that for other recruits. This is going to be huge if we can start getting these guys in the building quickly. We take down FCS East, and our championship contender moves up to a B-. minus. That is an important metric. I'd love to see that. Hopping into this game against Texas A&M, at the end of the day, if we don't take care of business here, our season could quickly spiral. But if we could take them down, we have a chance to move pretty quickly up the rankings. We're going to switch the uniforms to the alternate uniforms. We get Texas A&M at home. They're the number 16 team in the country. we got to have this one. We get another look at Furrow Field. Listen, if we want to win a national championship, we're going to have to take care of business against teams like Texas A&M. This environment is packed, and we have to be able to win games like this. Going to start off with the ball. Can maybe we hit one of these... Receivers across the middle. Yes, we can. What a ball. Nice job, Horn. Io Manor, mind your manners. Get out of there, Elik Io Manor. This is the first time I'm playing with him. He's a stud. Maybe hit my wheel route. Get out of there. Nice. Whoa, we got some speed. We're moving the ball. Gonna flip this run to the wide side. Put the ball on the ground for the first time. To oh, oh, I ran that bad. I could have gotten a couple more yards out of that. Let's flip this play, actually. I want to spin it to the wide side. I know it's a counter. If I can get a nice pull from my star left guard, it'll be huge. There we go. Get out of there. Get out of there. Give me five. There we go. Tavoris Jones with some nice rushes. Gonna put Johnson on a drag here. I might hit Elik Isle Manor, but I'm looking... Damn, I couldn't get out of there and throw the ball. All right, we'll take our three. That's fine. Not a bad first drive. Got some points on the board. That's important. Gonna bring a blitz here. We gotta get some pressure on Connor Weedman. I'm on Jacobs. Anything to the right? Great stop by our defense. Elias Williams, his first sack of the day. Haven't had much success on offense, but here we go. We're going to try to kick a 53-yard field goal. Do I have the leg? We do. We take a 6-0 lead. Hey, points are points. Here we go. Just outside the red zone. Third and 10. If we can get a stop here, that'd be huge. I'm going to fly to my right. Connor Wiegman, we got to hold the Aggies offense. I knew it. Why did they both go to the corner? Oh, my God. Okay, well, AM scores. Can we get some points here? Under a minute to go. Do I drill Elik Gio Manor? Nope, hit my backfield. How do you drop that ball? I gotta lead him there. Damn. I wonder if the screen is gonna be open or if the wheel is gonna be open. Oh my god, can I get a fucking block? Oh, my Mambo is hurt. Damn. All right, well, we're gonna kick on our field goal. Fucking hell, bro. All right, we go up 9 7. Listen, finishing drives has been an issue for me in this rebuild. I don't know why. AM has taken a 14 to 9 lead. Here we go. See if we can hit him with some play action. Oh my god. That couldn't have been a worse ball. Like, I just, I don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm fucking struggling. It is also the middle of the night. I'm not fucking playing defense, man. We got this. Yeah. See if I can hit him with a draw here on third down. I don't think they'll be ready for it. I haven't really run the ball too much. Great job getting out of there, Jones. Tavoris Jones with a huge run. Almost 100 yards on the day. Less than 20 carries. We'd love to see that. Gonna run this counter to the wide side. If I can get some good blocks, I think I would get a good spot. Yep. Give me up. Give me a cup, dude. I just couldn't get out of there. Here we go. We got a bunch of crossers in this nice levels concept. What am I doing? I like see, I see him. I don't even know why I threw that ball. I don't know. I literally don't know why I threw that ball. I knew he was there. Dude, what the fuck? I gotta take another field goal, bro. Oh my god. Please don't fucking miss it. Okay. I feel like they're fucking commanders, bro. I'm just kicking field goals. It is 17 to 12. All right. No, they're in cover zero. You're a fool for this. This is ball game. Oh, you are a fool for this. I know this route. Oh, they're not in cover zero. Oh, I hit... Oh, my God. That was fake cover zero, bro. That was cover four. God damn, I tried to take a shot. This looks like cover two, though. I will say that. Jesus Christ, dude. Holy shit. Let's try running the ball. Shit, I haven't, I haven't really ran the ball too much. Let's see if I can hit him with on this third and ten. Give me the first! I'm going for it. Kawan Lacey, great run there, big fella. I only need a couple of inches. Catch the ball. Yeah, there we go. Easy. Why are they giving me that? Brett Norfleet, nice catch. 
I'm falling for it. I don't care. Oh, it's real. Oh, it's real. Oh, it's real. You are foolish. Elik Io Manor, mind your manners. What are you doing, a and Bring Bringing a press. Bringing a blitz. Excuse me. At the end of the day, it doesn't even matter as long as. It, oh, dude, no. I wanted to get. Why would you like? God, our furrow field is rocking. I'm sitting here on Jacobs. I'm gonna sit back. Oh, it's a run. Oh, it's not a run. Why would I think it's a run? I'm glad it worked. Gonna bring a blitz here. I'm gonna go sit on. Oh my God. I'm sitting over top. Damn. Gonna sit back here. Anything in this? Oh no, no, I see it. She's gotta hold them to three. If they're gonna score, at least hold them to three. I'm gonna bring a fucking big blitz. It's gotta get home. Oh, it's a screen. Great job. I keep getting. Oh, it's a screen. 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 Dude, no fucking dude. That is so. Dude, oh my God. I'm on Beasley. Here we go. He knows I'm in cover six. Why did it switch me onto that guy? I tried to switch onto the guy. I'm on Jacobs. Jacobs is hurting, bro. His wear and tear is is, is tough. It's, uh, listen, they're in field goal range. It's just as long as we don't let up a touchdown. They're just going to keep sitting and hurry up. I'm going to bring pressure here. Here we go. We got to get a stop. As long as they don't get a touchdown out of this drive, we're fine. Great job by our defense. Our fourth sack of the day. I'm going to bring a fucking big blitz. I'm bringing Carnell down. If the blitz gets home, we might push them into a dangerously long field goal. Yes! This is a 60-yard field goal, bro. I'm bringing a fucking huge blitz, bro. I'm not letting... I can't let Weaveman sit back there. I'm sitting on Jacobs. No! What? That's fucking criminal, bro. That's so dumb. All right. All right. Need a touchdown. Got out of bounds. Nice job. Are they pressed up? No, it's fake. Oh, it's cover three. Oh, it's cover three. Excellent read. Call our first time out. Gonna flip the flood concept to the wide side of the field. This is fake press coverage. Yes. Oh, he cooked him though. Oh, wait, I gotta do that again. What was that defense? He shook him. Let's do that again. Let's flip this play though. Oh my God, if they run that same defense, will that Johnson is gonna be wide open. It's not though. Got it off in time. Damn, bro. Fourth and 10. Here we go. Got it. Oh my God, what are, what are they covering? How are they covering it like this, bro? This is so easy. Here we go. Under, under 30 seconds to go. Do they press on the edge? I call my final timeout. That was, I can't believe I just took that sack. I can't believe I just took that sack. It's gotta be a first down, it's gotta be out of bounds. Touchdown. Oh my God, they left him naked. We got it, yes. Oh my God, it didn't show me the animation or anything. Holy shit. The underneath route pulled that guy down. Listen, press and I'm flying back. Dude, I'm just going back now. They only need a field goal. Great job. I'm sitting in prevent, bro. I'm sitting, you see me. I'm sitting in prevent, bro. I'm bringing Jacobs back. I don't, oh, they only need a field goal, so I guess I don't want anything underneath. They're gonna get a field goal. Oh, they don't. They're not gonna get a field goal. They have to go for a touchdown. How? They're not gonna go for a field goal here? Game. I cannot believe we just beat Texas a and Holy shit, bro. What a final drive. What a final quarter. Oh my goodness. We sneaked by the Aggies. An ugly game, but Sam Warren came alive in the back half. 339, two touchdowns. Huge game. That completion percentage is ugly, bro. Golly. We get our first commit of year two, Kona Vitae. Five-star halfback, we love to see that. Five-star wide receiver Taylor Kareem locks us out, so we're going to take him off our board. We get another five-star commit in quarterback Anthony Ramsauer. Five-star Brian Goodley commits. Five-star left outside linebacker Brandon Tutalele. Five-star right end Paul Canty. Oh, my God, we're reeling in recruits. We're recruiting at a much higher level this year than we did last year. We take down Louisiana, move to 4-0. Our championship contender moves up to a B. We love to see that. We get 10 more coach points. Going to put this all toward recruiting. I lied. Not recruiting. Going to put it toward motivator. We get another five-star quarterback in Nick Radigan. Continuing to add to our team. We love to see that. And with the win over Auburn, our champion moves up to a B plus. But more importantly, we move to number 25 in the country. We take down UMass. Championship contender moves up to an A minus. We move to the number 18 team in the country. We're taking on South Carolina. This is a rivalry game. We got to have this one. We take down South Carolina. Move to 7 0, the number 15 team in the country. Let's take a look at this game. But Elick Isle Manor, eight receptions, 169 yards, four touchdowns. An astounding game from Isle Manor. He has been nothing short of spectacular. Yeah, oh my God. We just took down South Carolina. Let's take a look at this game 39 to 31. Went to overtime. Wow, we played fantastic. I mean, we played consistent football. They were good throughout the game. Glad we were able to pull it out at home. Did allow three sacks between Connor Tolleson, Braden Joyner, and Jack Walls. We don't like to see that. Taking on Vanderbilt on the road. If we don't take care of business here, we're going to be... We got bigger problems to worry about. Take down Vanderbilt. Championship contender moves up to an A. Number 10 team in the country. 8-0. No. Let's take a look at this Vanderbilt game. 24-13. Low scoring affair. We came alive in the fourth quarter after being tied. Offensive line only allowed one sack. Armand Membo allowing it. It's kind of interesting. We're taking on Oklahoma in a rivalry game. Going to Norman's not going to be easy, but if we can take care of them, we're going to be at a great spot down the stretch. We get another five-star quarterback commit in Evan Terrell. We want to have as many guys in that room as possible. So we'd love to see that. 
And we take down Oklahoma, move to number six in the country. The number moves to nine and oh. Let's take a look at that. We sneak by Oklahoma, 37 to 34. We love to see that. In overtime, we come back. Wow, our team is showing a lot of championship medal. Did allow five sacks, two from Armand Membo, two from Joshua Anderson, one from Caden Green, but Caden Green had a pancake, so it makes it up for it. Nothing crazy offensively in terms of who's doing what, but love to see that. Next up, we have Mississippi State. If we can take care of them, we move to 10-0 and and two games away from a perfect season. Mississippi State is not going to be an easy game. They're going to be looking to take us down and see if we can do it. Our championship contender moves to an A-plus. We take down Mississippi State, move to 10-0. and Let's take a look at this game. We get 10 more coach points as well, and that's huge. But this game against Mississippi State, 4, 38-17. So we played really well. Yeah, it really dominated them on offense. Um, defense had two interceptions. We'd love to see that. Did allow four sacks. Damn, Braden Joyner, a sack from Trevor Stevens and Joshua Anderson. Mm, don't like to see that. And then 10 coach points. This is going all toward motivator. All right, taking on Alabama. We get them at home this year. Going to bring out a new uniform. Going to bring out the home all blacks with a cool helmet. If we can take that Alabama, I think we have a chance to go undefeated and maybe make a run at the playoffs here in year two. A night game here in Faroe Field in Columbia gives us a chance to win a national championship. We gotta take down the Crimson Tide. Gonna be our toughest test yet. One of the best teams in the country. And even, I don't know if they'll have Jalen Milrow still, but if not, they'll have Ty Simpson. This is not gonna be an easy game, but if we wanna win a national championship here in year two, we're gonna have to take down the Crimson Tide because if we lose this game and then lose to Arkansas next week, we're gonna be in serious trouble. Going to start off with the ball on the ground here to Jones. I think we have a nice running lane if we can get a hat on a hat. Yes, I respect that. That works. That works. That was four yards. Going to put... Oh, no, but no, it's going to be wide open. What are they doing? What is his coverage? What are they doing? Easy. They left him wide open. Hit him with some play action. Up the seam. Damn, that was a bad ball by Sam Horn. I wonder if this is real press coverage, because if it is, I'm going to put Northley on a post. It is. Elick Isle Manor. Oh, okay. That was great defense. He did press, but it didn't matter. They weren't able to get any separation. Hit my crosser, fourth and two. I'm gonna go for this. I'm gonna put Brett Northley on a drag. I think I actually might have Elik Isle Manor like immediately, depending on how this goes. Yep, they left Elik Isle Manor wide open. Get out of there. I just don't have, I, I probably had someone open, but I didn't see it and I just got nervous. Got a nice three yards though, that's fine. They're giving me a lot of room underneath. So I'm just gonna keep hitting my crossers. They're just giving me a lot of room underneath. What kind of defense are they in? They're in zone, yeah. Gonna see if we can get a run to the wide side of the field here. If we get a head on a hat. Yo, we got some great blocking. Oh, I spun the wrong way. I spun the wrong way. Oh my God, I spun the wrong way. Oh my God, wait. Whoa, that was a great coverage. I did not even see him. Gonna put Johnson here on a drag. Isle Manor on the cross. They're pressing my... Oh, Isle Manor, you gotta hold on to that ball. Damn. All right, we're gonna take our three. Not a bad drive to start the game. Whoa, this new kicking meter looks different. What the fish? It looks so small. All right, there we go. Take a three, nothing lead. All right, third and seven just past... Oh, no, 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 no. They're leaving, they're leaving Marcus Johnson wide open. They're leaving him wide open. I don't know what coverage they're in, but that was terrible. I read it the whole way. Second and six here in the red zone. I'm actually going to flip this play. They're in zone. This is going to bring those guys down. That's fine. I like better blocking on the left side anyways. I ran that kind of like an idiot, but I still got three yards out of it. Going to have slants going to the wide side. I'm going to put Norfleet on a drag coming back across this, this side though. Hit my crosser immediately. Get up field, Miller. Nice catch. We're moving the ball really quickly on this Alabama defense. Gonna put Brett Northley on a drag here. Same with Elick. Oh, no, no, no. Same with Elick Isle Manor. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. We take a 10-point lead on the Crimson Tide. We take you to the fourth quarter. We're in the red zone. Gonna flip this play to the wide side of the field. I think if I can get some good blocking out of Norfleet and my left offensive lineman, we're gonna have a great... Yep. I just... I need. I probably should have gone outside there. Damn, I have not run the ball effectively at all in this game. The Alabama defense has been stout. Gonna put Elick Isle Manor on a drag here. Wow. I couldn't find anything open. Holy shit. Gonna put blood on a corner and Johnson on a streak. Got it. Oh my God. We are finding Marquise Johnson in the seam all day. He's wide open. I like Marquise Johnson coming across the middle too. I hit the wrong button. 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 Oh my God, I hit the wrong button. Defense, you are a bunch of dogs for this. We're gonna flip this play. I like Elik Isle Manor coming back across the middle. If not, I have Miller coming back across. This is going to be, go get it. Gonna flip this run to the wide side of the field here. Gonna fake it going to my right. I think they're in man anyways. They're not, they're in zone. This is not good. Get out of there. Get out. Oh, oh, I shouldn't have trucked. I should have just cut back. I didn't see him. Oh my God, Tavor Jones, his biggest rush of the day. We needed it the most. We're gonna try it again. I'm gonna see if I can take the top off the defense. They're gonna be expecting a run. I'm taking off. I'm taking off. I'm just taking off. Oh my God, Sam Horn, you're a dog. And we take down Alabama. What a gutsy game by our team. Great job by the defense. Seven points to Alabama. Wow. 
229, two touchdowns. I did throw that stupid ass interception with Sam Horn. I'm sorry, big dog. He had a great game. That was a hell of a throw on the rollout end of the game. Brett Norfleet caught a touchdown as well. Yeah, we played some great football. With that win, we moved to the number three team in the country, 11 0. I think even if we lose to Arkansas here, we're still going to make the SEC championship game. Let's take a look at that, though. Yeah, I mean, because we'll be 7 1. You know, yeah, so we're going to take on Tennessee in the SEC championship game. I think maybe no matter what, but if it's not them, it'll be Texas or Alabama. Even though we take down Alabama, Brian Valenzuela commits to Oklahoma, so we're going to take him off our board. Isaiah Cunningham commits to Washington, so he's gone. And Caleb Ellingson commits to Florida, so he's gone. Damn. Our final game of the season is against rival Arkansas. If we can't take care of them, we're going to be in trouble. So I'm going to let the CPU handle this. And we take care of business, taking on Arkansas. Move to 12-0, and the number two team in the country. Let's take a look at this Arkansas game. We're going to take on Tennessee in the SEC Championship game. Damn, that's going to be a brutal game. We beat Arkansas 31-24 to in an explosive second quarter. Two picks from the defense. Did allow a sack from Armand Membo, but that's not a good look. But played well. Undefeated going into the SEC Championship game. We'd love to see that. Going into the SEC game, we do actually have a number of injuries. Connor Tallison has a partial MCL tear. We are on a bye, so he should be back for the SEC Championship game. Chris McClellan, assuming we make the playoffs, should be back. If we win the SEC Championship game, he'll be back for our quarterfinal game. And Zion Young, he's out for five weeks of the torn bicep. He should be back for the semifinals based on that math. But even so, let's take a look at the depth chart just in case. We're gonna, we've been starting Braden Joyner here, but if he gets hurt, we're screwed. We don't have anybody else. Caden Green has been playing a little bit of center. Um, he's our starting left guard. But and we're good here because we do have Logan Reichert and Jaden Javen Richardson. But damn, we really need we really need Collison to come back. And then at left end, we do have Williams Dewanery, um, but we don't have much depth here. We have right ends playing backup as Elias Williams and Darius Smith. Um, we do a lot of right ends in Jalen Brown, Darius Smith, and Elias Williams, so we're kind of loaded here, but left end, we're a lot thinner. And the defensive tackle with no Chris McClellan, we do have Marquise Graciel, Mitch President, Sterling Webb, and Keith Church, as well as Justin Modford. So we're going to be fine here. We really just need our center and a left end to come back because we're already thin at those positions. Even though we're the number two team in the country, we don't lose a game. Our change against falls to an A. That's so funny. Our contract gets extended. That's cool, but it doesn't matter. And our, our goals go down. We went from 10 games to eight games. That's so funny. Obviously, we were never going to fire any of our staff. Let's take on Tennessee. Going to bring out a different home option, too. We're going to go with the black and whites. Taking on Tennessee for the first time. This is the chance to clinch potentially the one seed. Got to have this one. An SEC championship game. I believe this will be the first one for Missouri in program history if we win this one. Um, we got to go through Nico Imaliava and the Tennessee Volunteers. This is not going to be an easy game. They're a fantastic team. They're, again, probably the best team we've faced. It's not going to be an easy game, folks. We need to win this one, though. I think we're going to start off, hit him with some play action, maybe hit one of these crossers. Oh my god, Sam Horn, you madman. He escaped a sack, got seven yards, holy shit. Going to flip this play to the wide side. I kind of like Jones out of the backfield on this wheel route. There we go, I think that's either guy man. I don't even know if that, yeah, it was either guy man. Nice throw and catch from Sam Horn. Going to go with some more crossers. Brett Norfleet has, oh, he missed a tackle! Sam Horn is dotting up the volunteers right now. I love running this play action dig. If I can get a bite, why didn't it throw it? Why didn't it throw it? Why did it? All right, well, here we go. Great blocking downfield. There we go. Give me nine. That's fine. Third and 12 is a more manageable third down. I actually, lo I'm looking at Elik Isle Manor. No. Oh my God, I got hit as I threw. Fuck, dude. Here we go on third and four. We got to get this first down here. Dude, I have no, what is, like, I don't understand what my, come on, man. Like, what are we doing? Well, why is the kicking meter so small? Holy shit, I don't like this. Drilled it, though. Okay, so we take a 10-7 lead. Bro, our offensive line, they're just... I don't know why they're struggling so much. First and 10, just outside the red zone. Got it. Got my crosser. Oh, my God. Great cross by Jones. Sam Horn, outside of the interception that I threw. He's been fantastic. He's hurting, though. That's not a good look. This is cover one. Inside release. Please, please. I don't know if that was me. I shouldn't have thrown a bad ball. Please, DPI. Oh, thank God, bro. I got bailed out. Oh, my God, I got bailed out. Gonna see if we can punch this in. If we can punch this in, we take a 10-point lead. Late in the fourth, that would be huge. Dude, can we get some fucking blocks? Like, I just saw two people run by someone, bro. Like, we're gonna see if we can punch this in on the left side. If we can get a hat on a hat. Oh, excellent. Excellent! We take a 10-point lead late in the fourth quarter. And just like that, the Missouri Tigers win the SEC. We're gonna be a top two seed. We have a chance to make a run here in the playoffs and complete this challenge in year two. That would be huge. And we had a great game. Offense struggled a little bit. Our offense, our defense has played fantastic football this entire year. They've really been the difference maker in this season. We win the SEC for the first time, I believe, in Missouri history. And we're gonna go to the playoffs as a one or a two seed. Again, the first playoff appearance in Missouri's history, so this is gonna be huge. 
We win the SEC championship. Now let's see what playoff spot we get. SEC offensive player of the week, 17 carries for 134 yards and a touchdown. DeVoris Jones, a terrific game from the running back. Caden Green wins best interior offensive lineman in all 13 games. He had three pancakes. He was a stud all season for us. We have 10 more coach points. It's all toward motivator. DeVoris Jones also had an 18-yard reception. That was on that crossing route. Yeah, he had a terrific game. We didn't have a Heisman finalist, I would anticipate. Yeah. Kate Klubnick did, did get it, though. He had a fantastic season. And we did have an award winner, right? Let's take a look at this. I was second for head coach of the year, which is awesome. Marquise Johnson is running for the best receiver over Eli Heilmanner. Incredible. Wow. He had a great season. Lombardi Award, Williams and Nwari. He was in the running for the Lombardi. We'd love to see that. Best DN, same thing, Williams and Nwari. Caden Green wins best interior offensive lineman. Our coordinators were in the running for the Broyles. And Connor Tolleson was in the running for the best center. It's a shame he got hurt. Blake Craig was in the running for the best kicker, too. Wow. We had a great season. Our team played fantastic all around. Let's take a look at the playoff bracket now. So Clemson goes undefeated. They're the one seed. No shot or no doubt. We're undefeated. We're the two seed. USC wins the Big Ten. They go the three seed. Arizona wins the Big 12. They're in the four spot. The five seed is Texas Tech. The six seed is Kansas State. The seven seed is Oregon. Eight seed is Tennessee. Nine seed Alabama. Ten seed is Boise State. They win the Mountain West. 11 is Illinois. 12 is Boston College. Okay. So three Big 12 teams. I actually didn't expect to see that. Three SEC teams. Only, oh, and three Big Ten teams. That's three, three, three. Two ACC teams in a Mountain West. Yeah, wow. Okay, so we're either going to take on Boise State or Oregon. The only team I'm really scared of when I look at this whole board is, is Clemson. Clemson, led by the Heisman winner. They always do well in these Sims. It's not going to be easy. Here at Early National Signing Day, we signed a lot of the guys we wanted, right? Right end Paul Canty, athlete Anthony Ramsauer, quarterback Nick Radigan, halfback Kona Vitae, left out the linebacker Braden Tulele, left end Brian Goodley, and quarterback Evan Terrell. Got some other guys, but those are the main guys. We signed a big class. And we're going to be taking on the Oregon Ducks in the Sugar Bowl. So Oregon takes down Boise State. This is going to be interesting. Let's take a look at our team, see if we have any injuries still. Zion Young is still out for another two weeks. So theoretically, he would be out until the National Championship game if we were able to make it that far. We did get some guys back, which is huge, but that's going to be a big loss. Taking on Oregon in the Sugar Bowl. Oh, we're going to switch to the uniforms, go with the black, white, yellows. The chance to go to the semifinals, take down the Ducks. We're going to have to have this one, boys. Got to get a stop here on third and four. If we can hold them here, I'm going to bring a blitz. I'm going to sit on Hancock in the secondary. Looks like they're going to run. Oh. Oh, I got over, anything over the top. Get there. Great job by our defensive line to force that ball. All right, huge. Third and 10 again, just this time inside the 50. I'm on Beasley. Anything across the middle is... Dude, oh my God! No fucking way, dude. I thought it was a sit down. It was like a double move. I can't believe that worked. Okay, Isle Manor on the right side. Treore. You say do Treore, a name we have not called much today. Holy shit. Nice catch. Gonna see if we, if we can hit him with a draw on third and five here, just outside the red zone. Get a block, big fella. Get a block, big fella. There we go. 10-yard run for Kawan Lacey. Gonna see if we can go with a nice RPO here. Get out of there. Get out of there. And we tie it. Gonna sit back and cover four here. Third and eight. If we can get a stop here holding the three, we have a chance to tie it going into the half. What a ball. Thank God, bro. I got nervous. Here we go at the 25-yard line. I know where this ball is going immediately. Snap button. Read that. Kind of wrong. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Elik Isle Manor, if I have time, I'm looking for you. I do have time. Elik Isle Manor across the middle. Elik Isle Manor on a dime. What a catch. What a turn up and run. Here we go. Gonna run a very similar flood concept play. Wow, that was a needle threader. Holy shit, Sam Horn. Gonna see if we can lean on it again. I think I know where I'm going with this ball already. Yep. Didn't think he was gonna drop. Great coverage by that DB, Langston Patterson. Let me see how they cover this when I flip it. All right. Yeah. Got it. They brought a blitz. They attacked the blitz. Third and goal at the one. Gonna put Johnson on a drag here. I'm not even gonna look anywhere. Boom. I gotta hit him right away. Fourth and goal at the one? Hell no, bro. I know where I'm going with this ball. I gotta throw it right away and I'm not. I'm like hesitating. We're down by three. Damn, bro. I'm playing this like an idiot. Elik Isle Manor, great catch. First and goal at the one. Gonna put Norfleet on a drag and Elik Isle Manor on a drag. No, no, no. No! God damn, bro. Okay, here we go. Here's what I wanna do. Third and second goal at the one. Damn. Third and go second goal at the one. Fullback dive. Get in there! Let's go! Third and five. We can get a stop here. I don't know if they'll go for this. This is a big field goal. It's a pass, obviously. Get the Yes! Yes! Gonna flip this play. I like Johnson here. Oh my god, Sam Horn stayed in the pocket and delivered a dot to Elik Io Manor. See if we can hit a little RPO here. They're in man, so I think I'm probably just handing this off. Nope. I no no no! That's a touchdown. That should be a touchdown. 
Going to flip this play to the wide side of the field. They're in zone. They're not bringing extra defenders over. If I get a head on a head, I have a touchdown. Great job by the receiver. He just dove his knees. We take an 11-point lead. And Missouri takes down Oregon to win the Sugar Bowl and advance to the semifinals. Oh, my God. We're 14-0. Holy shit. We're taking on USC in the Peach Bowl. Let's take a look at this playoff bracket. We've kind of avoided that. Here we go. Okay. In the first round, Oregon snuck by Boise State. Illinois upset Kansas State. Alabama upset Tennessee. And Boston College upset Texas Tech. So no first round team was really safe. Arizona sneaks by Boston College. Clemson annihilates Alabama. USC, it, they obliterated Illinois. And then we obliterated Oregon. So we're thinking on USC. It's the top four seeds, right? The top four teams made it. This is, I actually think, the first time I've ever seen this. Um... But yeah, USC is going to be a great team. And I, I, again, Clemson scares the shit out of me, man. Taking on USC is my first time playing them in this. Obviously, we're going to go with the gold full uniform with the black pants. Or the black helmets, excuse me. This is a Peach Bowl. This is a chance to go to that national championship. We got to have this one. Here we go in the Peach Bowl in Atlanta. We just played a game here a couple weeks ago. We have a chance to take on USC here. This is not going to be an easy game. But if we can take care of them, we move to the national championship game. We move to a perfect 15-0. I don't know who the quarterback is going to be. I don't think it's Miller Moss. I don't know who that is. So it's going to be an interesting game. Here we go. Got third and seven just past the midfield. If we can get a stop here, that would be great. I'm on Jacobs. Anything across the middle. I tried to get back. It is Miller Moss still. Okay. I thought Miller Moss would have gotten a job by now. But they don't have LinkedIn in Southern California. So that's cool. I'm sitting on Jacobs. Oh, it's a run. Oh, it's a read option. Great job by our defense reading that. Holy shit. Elias Williams has been fantastic. I'm going to bring a blitz here, and I'm going to sit on Carnell. Nothing over the top. I'm going to try to prevent a touchdown here. Great job by our defense. We have really shut down the run game so far. Jaron sends the ball. Great job coming off the edge. I'm going to simulate pressure, and I'm going to fly back with Beasley here. It looks like a blitz, but it's not. Give me that! I read it like a book! Oh, my God. Look at me. I knew where he was going with that ball. Yeah! Look at me go. Jeremiah Beasley, the sophomore linebacker, went and got that ball. What a play by him. We're going to see if we can hit him with a run play here. I don't know if they're going to be ready for it. If we can get a hat on a hat. Oh, we get a hat on a hat. Kyron Lacey, or Kawan Lacey, my bad. I'm thinking of the LC receiver. Here we go. First and goal at the six. Cross the middle, touchdown. Let's go. We take a seven-point lead early in the Peach Bowl. Oh, my God. Look at this coverage. Snap the ball. Snap the ball. Snap the ball. Snap the ball. I knew where the ball was going immediately. What are they doing? They're pressing at the line of scrimmage. Okay. Brett Norfleet. Sam Horn stuck in there, got drilled, but he delivered a strike. We take a two-touchdown lead here in the Peach Bowl. Week went up 21-0. USC has came all the way back. They are not going away. Hit my cross. Brett Norfleet, give me a nice six yards. That's fine. Our defense really kind of fell apart in the second half. I love running this play. I, I just, it, I got to get it here. I think I can hit Miller on the, on the post. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it! What a ball! Oh my god! What a dot! Holy shit! I've been trying to do that this whole fucking video. I'm bringing a big blitz here, by the way. Sitting on Hancock. I'm bringing pressure. I'm gonna make Miller Moss beat me over the top to pass. Gonna bring gonna bring another blitz here. Sitting on Hancock in the secondary. Again, just gonna... It's a pass. We know it's a pass. Oh my god. Great job. I'm gonna sit back this time. I'm not gonna bring any pressure. Don't want to do it every time. I'm sitting on Beasley. It's the third and one. They might run this just to get the first down. Oh, it's an RPO. Yeah, they did. Damn, I was. I didn't want to get sucked in and leave my assignment. Listen, I'm going to keep sitting back. I'm going to sit in coverage. They have to score a touchdown, right? So as long as we don't do that, we're fine. Game over. Our first down wins the game. Oh, they are in the box. Holy shit, they're in cover zero. They are in, man, they are in cover zero. Holy shit. All right, let's see if we can run this counter. I couldn't even get out of there. Holy shit. I know this is stupid, but I'm kind of an idiot. I kind of want to launch this bitch. At least I got rid of the ball. Holy shit. All right, that was kind of stupid, but I'm an idiot. So here we go. We're going to run this ball back to the wide side of the field. The fake jet touch pass. They're in man, so that man should cross over. Nope. No, I just needed a better block. Am I in field goal range? I'm not. Where am I? Oh, we're going for this. I'm putting the nail in the USC Trojans. Here we go. I'm going to put Miller on a designated out. I know where my read is. Got him. Game over. I think I need to get like one more first down technically. But again, I'm just going to try to take this hop off. Fuck it, dude. I'm a badass. Go get it. Go get it. Ball game. Ball game. I didn't even look. I didn't even look. Let's go. And L, excuse me, and Missouri takes down USC. And we're headed to the national championship game. Trust me. I know I'm hyped because I want to get this over with because I fucking hate the fact that I'm doing this with fucking Missouri. Sam Horn, 313, five touchdowns. A huge game for Moore. And he has come on really nicely in the last couple weeks, the last half of the season. Yeah, what a ball. That ball on the right corner to put us up 28 to 21 was a beauty. Let's see if this is the one. Yeah, this ball 
an absolute dot. A dot. That ball couldn't be anywhere else. It needed to be exactly where it was. We win the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl, and we're going to take on Clemson or Arizona in the national championship. This is going to be an incredible game. We win the Peach Bowl, and let's see who our opponent's going to be in the national championship. Toriano Pride of Pick 4 Tackles, SEC Defense Player of the Week. Terrific game from Toriano. Again, for the National Defense Player of the Week, we're going to have the SEC Offense Player of the Week. It's going to be Sam Horn. Yeah, 313, five touchdowns. We already know that he had a huge game. And National, okay. Clemson. This is the team I really did not want to face. Fuck. 10 coach points. Again, putting this all toward motivator. Getting our guys, um, having them stay hot through games and turnovers and all that stuff is huge. Let's take a look at the bracket. How did Clemson do against Arizona? Wow, Clemson just snuck by Arizona. Holy shit, okay. Taking on the Clemson Tigers here. This is the battle for the Tigers. Okay, if we get win this, we complete the video and complete the challenge. Here we go, boys. A chance to get Missouri's first national championship in I don't even know how long, hopefully ever. Third and four. If we can get a stop here, that would be huge. I'm going to sit on Jacobs. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, it's a screen. Great job by our defensive line. See if we can take the top off. I think I might be able to hit Norfleet or maybe even Lacey coming out of the backfield. Dude, holy shit. Please be roughing the passer. Passing interference? That's fine, bro. I tried to launch that bitch up. I love this play, man. If I can hit Miller on that break. No, no, no. I got to rifle that in there. Damn. Here we go. Let's put the ball on the ground. We haven't done that yet. Get off me, little boy. Give me four. That's fine. Hit my out route. There we go. Give me the first down. Sam Horn has played fantastic this season. I think I can use that slot. Great job, Eli Kyle Manor. Oh, that's not a Manor. That's Miller. That's Mackie Miller. Damn. Here we go. I think I can hit Lacey. Dude, what the fuck am I doing, bro? I'm not playing defense, man. I, whatever, bro. They're up 14 0. Great. Oh, they're only up 3 0. Wait, whoa. We're in a great spot. Our defense has kept us in this game because I continue to be a fucking idiot. Eli Dude, god damn it! Our defense has been incredible. I stink. So our defense needs to continue to be great. Got it. Behind him. Yep. There we go. Just got it. Sam Horn has thrown four interceptions. It's the first half. Okay, first of all, not all those are mine. But I'm putting Northfleet on a drag here. I just gotta post. Yep. I just gotta I just gotta find the reads. I'm making I'm trying I'm making this way too hard for myself. Hit the simple shit. I know what the reads are based on the coverages. So I don't know why I'm trying to like rifle it down the f dude. I'm I'm getting antsy in the pocket. I couldn't get out of there. Oh my god, I thought I had three timeouts. We need a touchdown here. Like there's no way fans are butts. I'm not taking three. Brett Norfolk, you are a fucking madman! Gonna put Johnson on a drag. I think that got him. Touchdown. Let's go! God damn! They're running, they're really trying to two clock already. It's the fucking third quarter. All right, all right, Clemson, I see how it is. I'm on Jacobs. Dude, thank you. The fact that he even got there instead of getting blown up in the backfield is crazy. I'm on Jacobs, third and one. If we can hold him to a field goal here, that'd be huge. Fuck. We're gonna blitz here. I'm on Hancock, I'm flying down, yep. Are you, dude, get the fuck out of here. Our offense is moving, thank God, bro. Brett Norfleet, we're in the red zone. Dude, I couldn't, I don't know. I don't know why I'm so fucking antsy right now, bro. Nothing is getting open. God, I don't want to see this shit, bro. Like, I don't care. Discover team stats. Discover these fucking nuts. And I definitely don't want to see those fucking people. Stupid-ass Clemson fans. Touchdown. What a ball by Sam Horn! Holy shit! Here we go, Lacey, on a jet touch pass. Tie game. Our defense has been nothing short of spectacular. Get out of there! It's a foot race! We're not losing this! Let's go! Here we go, third. Anything... Yep, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Damn, I didn't know if he was going to go to the number one or not. Okay, here we go. She got to keep getting stops. We're up a touchdown. We, we're in a good spot. I'm going to bring a blitz here on second and one. I'm going to fly back with Beasley. If I can get there, that'd be huge. Going to sit back this time on Jacobs. I got to switch up the coverages. Klubnik is moving the ball really effectively right now. Okay, here we go. Anything across the middle? Oh, damn. Okay, well, I got six, seven. Damn, five. Oh, okay, that's fine. I'm just going to keep sitting back. I don't want to... I want to be able to dial it up later. Now I'm on Sensabaugh. Anything on this left side is going to be mine. Damn, bro. Their receivers are nasty. I'm on Beasley here. Here we go. It's a pass. Anything across the middle is mine. That's fine. Keep it in front of you. They, I'm surprised they missed that ball. Holy shit. I'm going to do a coverage disguise. I'm on. I'm in cover nine, but I want it to look, yeah, I want it to look like I'm in cover two. Get there. Get there. Okay, fourth and sixth. This is a huge play. If we can stop them here, we have the ability to play for a first down to win the game. I'm on Beasley. Anything across the middle is mine. Get there, get there, get there, get there! Gonna go the jet to the wide side, but I'm gonna fake it and see if we can come back inside. Yep, there we go, give me three, that's fine. We'll take three yards there. Gonna run dive, again, just gonna try to milk this clock here. Cut back, cut back, Lacey! That might be the game, folks, that might be it. 
Kawan Lacey, four runs to 94 yards. I'm a greedy little bitch. I'm going to try to take the top off and get up some more points. Got it! And the Missouri Tigers are going to win the national championship. Oh my God, they were not ready for that at all. And just like that, we completed the challenge. In year two, we take down Clemson to win the national championship. If you like that, make sure to comment down below what team you want to see me rebuild next. Like and subscribe. And YouTube thinks you're going to like this video. Find out if they're right.